my my rank is a, is a mouthful, uh, a Master Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard. And what that means is each of the military services has uh, one very senior ranking enlisted person, just like they have a very senior ranking officer. Uh, the Army has the Sergeant Major of the Army. Uh, the Navy has the Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy. Uh, the Air Force has the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force. And the Marine Corps has the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. And, of course, of course the Coast Guard as Master Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard. So these positions were all created uh, back in 1967, uh, although the Coast Guard didn't start its, its, uh, its first Master Chief of the Coast Guard until 69. And this was as a result of during the Vietnam War, uh, Congress uh, uh, authorized the creation of these senior ranks to be uh, uh, sort of parallel to the uh, – the, the, the senior officer of the service. And the reason why they wanted that was that the morale was bad. The Vietnam War wasn't, wasn't going as well as from a morale standpoint. You know, uh, uh, and Congress was very concerned about that because they were getting all kinds of pretty bad stories and felt that the uh, service chiefs uh, were not as in tune with their people as they said they were. So, so these positions were created by Congress and uh, and it's and it's it's a pretty awesome position. Uh, uh, you you uh, you're selected by the service chief. Uh, you do have to go through a a very very serious vetting process. Uh, both where uh, you have to get a White House security clearance. Uh, uh, the Senate and the House Armed Services Committee also review you as the candidate and so forth, just like they do their their uh, uh, their service chiefs, their bosses. And for the Coast Guard, our service chief is the commandant of the Coast Guard. So uh, that's what those positions are, and, and, and the fact that I have a number in front of me is I'm the eighth Master Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard uh, right now. Uh, the number is 13. Uh, um, so every four years, a new Master Chief comes in, and so you get that new number. Uh, for the Coast Guard, we've had uh, one year where we had uh, one Master Chief serve five years, and the reason for that was when we started with the Master Chief of the Coast Guard position, that person was picked. Uh, and served one year with the current commandant, and then a new commandant came in, and, and so that new commandant didn't pick that person, but they carried on. So by the time they got to the fourth Master Chief of the Coast Guard, uh, the commandant at that time says, hey, look, he told the guy who was the Master Chief of the Coast Guard at that time, said, look, I need you to serve another year uh, because that way when I leave, you leave with me, and then the new commandant will pick you. So that's how the numbers are, go are going that way. And each num each service is different as far as the numbers go because this, uh, the other services, some of their senior enlisted persons serve uh, two years or three years, depending on the service connection and so forth. So our numbers are very different. So when I was the eighth Master Chief of the Coast Guard, the Sergeant Major of the Army was the uh, the 14th. Uh, the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps was the uh, – 12th, I think it was 12th or 13th. Maybe I got the numbers all wrong. Anyway, numbers were very different in each of the other services. So so we didn't quite correspond with, you know, as the 8th Master Chief of the Coast Guard, there wasn't an 8th Master Chief of the Navy at the same time. So that's kind of how those positions all came into being. Mm. 